Well, we are back on the rotary table. Uh, now we have the probably the most important task to do with the motor plate. Um, we have to communicate this uh, concentric ring to, or the information from it, to the other side, which means uh, conveying the centre point of this milling operation to the other side of the plate. Um, well, there are a number of ways of doing this. Uh, I did think that because my original holes for the motor plate weren't fantastically in alignment, I would probably need reaming, uh, that's not the biggest concern. I can worry about that later on. What is the most important thing is to get uh, this spigot here and the one that I have to mill on the other side so that it will fit into the motor housing absolutely concentric that is without a doubt the most important job um, I think these probably went out of alignment because I made a fundamental mistake with brilliant that's my phone going off anyways um, I made a fundamental mistake with the pilot holes for all these. I mean, I'm not sure how these have performed. These are for the, the new motor, but I think that if I was drilling the pilot holes with too thin a drill, and they were to flex out of position, then all the other holes consequently could be um, further or not as accurate as they should be. So really, I think the best thing for me to do is try and get through the centre here as accurately as possible. Now, I could do that with one of these stubby drills, because that sure isn't going to flex um, when it goes through the uh, plate, because that's like 10 millimeters thick. Uh, but I've not tried these yet, don't know how sharp they are, these are brand new, uh, and they should be okay, but of course there's always the risk that they aren't. Um, but of course I could go through with one of these. I didn't think the flutes on here were big enough to get rid of any chips much beyond uh, drilling what I've already done i.e. a small hole and a part of the V. I'm going to have to ignore all the rattling, it's very windy here it's like somebody stood outside and rattling the old <laughs> garage door um, but uh, I can drill through the plate with this centre drill because we're already lined up and that will convey the smallest point here to the other side of the plate so that's probably the best way of doing it I'd imagine um, otherwise it's going to be a 10 millimeter hole oh dear so we'll just have to see how it goes okay uh, I've got the motor plate mounted back on the rotary table I've zeroed the rotary table into the Miller machine head and I've also gone ahead and centered the plate uh, on the rotary table too by lining up what used to be a small punch mark right in the middle of these crosshairs uh, to the Miller machine head and I've gone ahead and drilled a uh, center mark slightly deeper than you would usually uh, contemplate doing. Normally when you use a centre drill you would use the uh, small section of this uh, part and some uh, or maybe all of this V section to the drill as your centre mark and that would help then locate the, the normal twist drills which have uh, a point on them to locate quite accurately. I'm going to use the centre drill in a slightly different fashion. Uh, we know that the diameter of this large section is around about 6 or 7 mil, probably closer to 7 to be honest. And really, because it's not going to flex, we can go all the way through this plate and create this diameter uh, uh, through to the other side of the plate. If we then leave this centre drill inside the collet chuck and just undo the plate and turn the plate over, before we tighten these back up again, uh, we can 
make sure that the drill just slips nicely back into that hole again. And if I undo the quill so that the um, drill just slips down nicely, I have to try and ignore the noise, it's very windy in England at the moment. You saw how the drill just nicely slips down into that diameter. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to do the same on the other side when the plate is accurately located. If it just sticks halfway down then it's clearly not centred. But I think the best way of doing it is just to let the drill down and move the plate until it's centred as this one is and then semi tighten these nuts and then when we go for the full tighten we just lift the drill up slightly so we don't damage the quill tighten the drill up, uh, tighten the uh, nuts up sorry and to see if the drill slips back nicely in and we can probably say that it's as good as we need to get it then and then we can start off the milling operation for the outside edge uh, of the plate so that it will fit inside the motor housing. Um, so I think that's about as good a method as I've thought of so far. Other methods involving dial test indicators are going to be much more accurate but of course you have to think about the extra time that's going to take. Um, but I think this way of getting the hole through to the other side is going to be the uh, the way that I'll go forward with this. I perhaps wish I should have done that with uh, these m holes uh, for the motor mount um, bolts uh, because maybe because I used the twist drills on a too small a diameter, maybe 3 or 4 mil for the pilot drills they may have um, wandered off a little bit and of course all the subsequent drilling may have actually uh, been dragged off uh, so they may not be perfect. Those aren't the most important thing. They can be reamed out until they fit. They they are really, they're not for location. They are just to fasten the plate to the motor mount. And subsequently, of course, these 14 millimeter holes are just to fasten the plate to the motor. The bit that does the locating is this spigot. So it is essential and vital that this circle be uh, concentric with the milling that I do on the other side of the housing because effectively you're trying to pretend that this plate isn't there and that the motor is going to be perfectly centered onto the lathe mounting uh, so you've got to make this this milling here and the bit on the other side very very uh, true to each other concentric is the word perhaps slightly overused in this video but uh, so that's the method I shall use uh, we just have to go full depth on this particular operation and then we'll turn the plate over and see how we do so we'll start the motor up uh, I better turn it the machine on first uh, ok I have to peck drill it a little bit because the flutes aren't terribly long. And removing as much material as you can in one go. Or as little. I think we're all the way through now. So that full diameter is on the other side too. I just turn the machine off. Uh, we have now the full diameter of the centre drill, uh, the largest or the major diameter of it, all the way through this hole now. And if we turn the plate the other way around and just let this drop down uh, into the hole until, and then move the plate around so that it's able to do just what you saw now, we should find that this is reasonably centred then. So we'll just have to undo the plate and see if we can swap it round. I'm fighting against the clock really so I don't know how much battery power I've got left. So we shall 
try and be quick but not hasty. You don't want to make any errors. I did think about doing exactly the same thing with this rather large stubby drill, uh, but it seems to me like a, a large, too large a diameter really. And of course the centre drill would do just as good a job. Um, I didn't actually think the flutes were as long as they were on the centre drill, but uh, they were good enough. They did the job as you saw. Not the most interesting thing watching somebody undo some in here. I had to cut these from some stud so it's not exactly stainless steel or the strongest stuff, but it certainly helped when I was doing this channel. Um, so I'm sure it will help again. Now, these holes that I drilled in here are not perfect with this, these lines, I just did these with a hand drill it wasn't really important where these holes were uh, if they were slightly out it wasn't too much of a problem as long as the crosshairs could be aligned perfectly to a centre finder in the quill head as long as you can do that then you know that the plate is centred it doesn't really matter where these nuts are right so take all the washers off and it takes quite a skill to turn this plate over and fit it back onto the studs. But if I just remove that, get rid of all the swarf with the brush. I'm doing this off camera, unfortunately. Camera's on the tripod. Uh, yeah, we've got a slight burr on this side. Well, of course, we've got no marks to tell us whether we're totally accurate or not. The centre drill may not be able to drop down. Well, that's relatively easy. Um, now, we're not tightened up at all. There's not much play. It's only the inaccuracies in my T-nuts that I built the other day that would allow this to be moved around. This one still seems to be a bit tight. I don't quite know why. Um, I think we better undo this. Yeah, it's loose again there. So all four are loose now. So if we can get this centre drill to drop down in here, which it seems to want to be able to do, then all we have to do now is put the washers on here and then the nuts to follow. And we should be able to say that the concentric ring on the other side of this plate is now in the centre, albeit upside down. Put these on there for a second. Put these finger tight. Now I'm not suggesting for any minute that we should make these extremely tight until the uh, drill is actually out of the hole because if it's if we end up tightening these and it's not perfect we don't want to damage the drill or the milling machine that's one thing so we'll get these just finger tight well feeble spanner tight you could say just so tight and then we'll Undo the lock, that should just still drop down. It does. So what we can do now is give these a bit more of a nip. It should really tighten one nut and then go across and do the same thing with the other side and go across and then do the same again. I don't think you should go round in a circle. I think that's wrong so I've read it I've been told. So these are getting quite tight. I think this needs a bit more. Now we should still find that the drill, if we take the lock off, of course it just drop in nicely. Now for me that is as near as damn it. Um a 
as concentric as I think I'm ever going to likely to be able to get this. If there's any opposition whatsoever for that to go into there, it wouldn't be on centre in my book. Uh, so I think I'll be happy with that. I think I'll get rid of this burr though, although it doesn't really matter. Because we're finished with this hole now. What we're going to end up doing, I think I'll give that one a bit more of a nip. Uh, yeah, that's tight. I think what we'll end up doing now is uh, moving the table back out again and um, getting this ring sorted out. Perhaps I should have marked the ring on. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, we'll get these tightened up and then move the table out. I'll have to create some kind of reference first, though, I think. Okay, so we are progressing, are we not? <laughs>